Okay, here are or here is our setup for the three-way switch. Now, three-way switch you're going to find uh, like at the top and bottom of a basement, uh, stairs, or if you're going to up an upstairs level in a house. So basically, you can control the same light with two different switches. So that would be a, a three-way switch. So here's the way it works. We're going to keep our same setup with our light, with the Romex coming to. Uh, the switch box, um, which in this case is right here. Same thing, we're not going to change that at all. I've just taken this out from my last project. And we're going to add a box. This one was the one that um, had our outlet in it, so we're going to replace that with a three-way switch. Now the difference between three-way switches and single switches we'll look at in a second. You're going to do a pigtail exactly the same thing, uh, or exactly the same way you did with the outlet and the regular single pole switch, but this time you're going to use a three-wire cable. Now that's a 14-3. The difference between a 14-3 and 14-2 are you have an additional uh, hot wire, usually a red wire. So if you look closely, at your three-way switch, we're going to show you that right here. Your three your three-way switch has one, two, three posts on it plus your ground post. So it's a little bit different than the regular single pole or just two-way switch, which just has two posts plus your ground screw. This is just for a uh, single control, and this will allow you to have multiple controls. And the way this works is you have what's called a traveler terminal. Your travel, travel terminals, excuse me, you have your red wire, your red wire between each uh, outlet, or excuse me, each switch, and then you have your black wire. So those travelers will allow you to control your light source and complete the circuit from either location. Um, it is worth mentioning that you have your switches oriented the correct way. It's a very common mistake for students to have it one way on one and this way on the other. So it's really important you look at your diagram and see that you have the two traveler terminals on the bottom, the single one on the top left, and that of course would not be like this, that would be like this. Now it can go either way, but um, it's just a lot easier to get it uh, wired up if you're looking at it the same way as the diagram. Okay, so let's show you how we go ahead and make that connection. We have a 14-3 wire and what I'm going to do is strip off my Romex and then go ahead and set it up um, just like that for you between those two boxes.